So guys, <clears throat> I'm sure, I'm positive, but you've probably heard this saying before. I'm sure. Stop caring, she starts chasing. And this is what we're about to talk about because it is facts. And the way I'm going to explain this is going to make perfect sense. And you know what? With that being said, in this video, nobody is crazy. Nobody's in the wrong. Nobody is in the wrong. This is something that it just is what it is. And I think most guys have to understand this. The reason why, when you stop caring, she starts chasing, is because you are actually subconsciously showing her that you have value. You're valuing yourself. If you're just so caught up in her, you're chasing her. Oh my God, baby. Oh my God. You're showing her that she is more important than anything else you have going on in your life. That is what you're showing her. That is how she thinks. And she's not wrong for thinking this way. It's just the truth. So as a guy, when you pull back and you genuinely don't give a fuck. Like we're not, we're not caring about her, bro. Oh my God, I care about her, but let me not act that way. No, it don't work that way. When you genuinely do not care, when you have a kick ass life yourself, then it works because it shows her, wow, he could care less if I'm, if I'm in his life or not. Oh my God, he must have something good going on. He must be, he must be doing this. He must be doing that. This is just what it shows. And it's not because she's using you or, or this or that or that or this. It just shows you're a well put together guy. And what do women want? A well put together fucking guy. Women want what they want. So don't we. Guess what? We might not want you. You might want us. We might not want you. We might want you. You might not want us. You know what? It's actually quite difficult to land on both. It's usually somebody wants you, you don't want them. Vice versa. But something special will always happen when both parties genuinely want each other equally. And every now and then you're going to land on something that happens in that way. And that's when something good will happen. That's when something good will come out of it. And the advice I give to everybody, both men and women, is to become what it is, what the other person wants. It's the most, it's the most unselfish thing you could do. Because you are a great benefit to the opposite gender of which you want. You want their benefits, they want your benefits. You want a guy at a certain height that makes a certain amount of money that has something going on specifically or whatever, whatever traits you want in a guy. Guess what? A guy wants certain traits in you as well. It goes both ways. And like I said, <clears throat> when you're the type of guy that you kind of have that needy energy. You want her so bad. Oh my God, you cannot lose her. It's unattractive, bro. If you were the type of guy that could get any, almost any girl you want, you wouldn't have that energy. But you just want her, you single her out. And you know what? It's normal for something to happen like that. You could see a particular girl that you really want, but you have to continue to live your life. That is just how it works. You can't put everything else on hold and oh my God, I want her so bad and vice versa to a girl towards a guy. But the thing is here, and I'm about to break this all down. 
Both genders just have to know what they're doing. For a guy to be needy to want a girl so bad, oh my God, is not attractive. But when you flip it the other way around, some really attractive female that wants you a lot is attractive. Because women need men. Men don't need women. Women need men a lot more than we need them. Let's be real. Men are protectors, providers. Look at dogs. But this feminism bullshit that goes on in today's day and age has brainwashed a lot of people into thinking, you're as strong as a man. You're as hardworking as a man. This and that and that and this. And it's all a bunch of bullshit. Look at all the guard dogs. Males. I'm not saying there's not a female guard dog, but look at the majority. There's always an exception to the rule. But we have to keep living the right ways. Because this is how society is getting messed up. By women trying to act like men. Women trying to, to be like men. Women belittling men. Women disrespecting men. It's a bunch of bullshit. Play your role. Be respectful. <clears throat> so, it is attractive for a female that is really attractive to want the right guy. But for a guy to really want that female and you're the one chasing her, it's a no-go. Because we're very different. We are the opposite. Women are supposed to seek out for the right guy. Men are supposed to be men. And by what you become is a byproduct of that person that's going to be by your side. This is the world. This is how the world actually works. She has to want you more than you want her. When you're frantically reaching out to her, trying to get on her so desperately... And you guys don't understand this. Women don't think that fondly of themselves often. A lot of them fake their confidence. A lot of them do all that bullshit, bro. They want to pretend like they're these hard women. I've seen it a million times. And these hard women, bro, I've seen them all cry a million times, like every single day. Sending me videos of them crying. Oh, I'm crying now. Expecting me to, to say something and I'm... Stop crying. What are you doing? This is what I've seen, bro. They all put on a mask. They're all not that. I don't even know why they want to act hard. It's not attractive. It's very strange. It's very, they're, they're, some, of these, some of these feminist strategies today are very strange. They think by making more money, they're going to become more attractive to a guy they really want, when it's the exact opposite. <clears throat> the money a woman makes has no correlation to her attractiveness. It just goes to show that women does not know what men want. Coming from a male perspective, there you go. How, how, how are you to say what, what a man wants? You see the irony here? Women want everything to be the way they think it should be. When that is not reality. Men think a certain way. Women think a certain way. You have to live in reality. You have to get out of this blue pill. There's a lot of women. There's, I would argue there's more women today living in this fucking blue pill world society than men. For real. Because the truth is thrown at men a lot more than it is thrown at women. Because everybody knows women almost can never handle to hear the truth. And it's not a knock on women, it's just the truth. You're not bad people for that. It's just the truth, it's the way you're wired. But for the women that really can understand how, how a man thinks and, and can adjust to that, is the one that's going to win. The ones that don't want to acknowledge it at all are the ones that are going to lose because you're going to be a career woman making all this money thinking you're the hottest thing going. 
thinking, oh, being independent and, and, and being bossy and all this is, is making me way more attractive. Until you get older and everything is too late. Because everything that made you the most attractive is now gone. Just like I said, there's a lot of things I can't even say because most women can't, can't handle to hear the truth. But it's the truth. <clears throat> so, yeah. As for the guys, it is no good for you to chase her. If she's trying to get you to chase her, cut her off. And all of a sudden, she's going to be more attracted to you for you cutting her off. It's weird how it works, right? <laughs> There's something about a female that they love when you're just living your life and you're almost not even acknowledging her. Like you're just living your life. She likes what she sees. But if you're focused right on her, you're focused right on her, you expect things from her, you expect her to give you something, you expect her to do whatever, all of a sudden she's turned off. But if you're living your life as if it didn't matter if she was around or gone or, or whatever, oh my God, she's so attractive now, bruh. This is just how it works. I don't make these rules. I'm just reporting them for you guys. You stop chasing, you stop caring. And she'll start chasing you. Literally. She is coming for you. She wants you. She's thinking about you. You're thinking about all the shit you're doing. Creating and making and molding a better life. She's thinking about you and the fantasy of being with you. And all the other bullshit that comes along with that. And as you continue to focus on your life and your path and get better, become stronger, become, become better in every way you can possibly think, she will be there by your side as the byproduct. But if you're if if you have like no goals and your goal is to to chase her to try to be with her and all this bullshit, she ain't gonna want to be on that shit. She ain't gonna be want she ain't gonna want to be on that shit because you're focused on her. The way they see that is, oh my God, I'm his biggest goal. And like I said, most women don't even think fond of themselves, bro. They can say they're doing all this bullshit, but deep down inside, <laughs> not really. That's why if you knew exactly who you were dealing with, you wouldn't even be that way in the first place. Stop putting women on a pedestal. They're never as good as you think they are. And that might sound awful. But it's the truth, bro. I stopped putting women on a pedestal a long, 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 long time ago. I literally walk my own life and my own path. Like, I don't give a sweet fuck what happens. It's life. We're literally gonna die. Might as well have fun while we're here. Instead of being all worried about this, worried about that, worried about what you can't control, why? Just focus on creating a kick-ass life, and you will have the best life. If you can't do that, you won't have the best life. Period. But you will always surprise yourself if you put your focus as a man into the right places, and that is not on her. You're not focused on her. Why are you focused on her? Why are you focused on her? She should be focused on you because she sees something she really wants that is going after some big things, which is you. She's a byproduct. You're the byproduct of what she wants. You both want each other. That's how it works. It's never going to work if you're trying to chase her. She has to chase you. She has to really want you, not literally chase. Like she's running after you. But she has to want you like almost that much. Like she wants you more than anybody else. That's a good sign. You're not like everybody else. You're not like every other guy. 
you're the top prospect, bro. You're the top pick. You, you got drafted number one in her eyes. You're the number one pick. And in your eyes, if she's good enough, there you go. You got a match. <clears throat> but, you know, it has to work out both ways. This is the realest shit you guys will ever hear in a video. Like, literally ever. Because a bunch of women can chase you, bro. You're not going to want all of them. There's going to be something off about a lot of them that you don't want, and that's okay. There's probably females in your life as well that you want that you could not have at that time. That's okay. More is going to come. So on and so forth. This is the world. You might want to date Madison Beer or some shit. You're probably not going to be able to date Madison Beer. Madison Beer probably wants some guy that she can't have either. And that guy that she wants that she can't have probably wants some girl and he can't have her either. It's just, you can't have everybody. And who cares if you can't have a specific person? Who gives a fuck? It's one person out of seven and some million. Who cares? The only thing you should care about is getting better. Both men and women. We both have to improve. We both have to be on point. Do you think I lived my life and didn't improve? Get the fuck out of here, bro. I worked tirelessly, relentlessly on my life because I have goals. I have specific things I'm going to accomplish with or without anybody. We're going to get the job done, bro. This is the way you have to think. Live your life as if it's just you. As a man, as a woman, I wouldn't do that because you're going to become misindependent. You're going to become bossy. You're going to become, have that A-type personality where you're not agreeable, masculine. You're going to come out of your feminine. I don't need a man-type energy. Well, you really are going to manifest that and you're really not going to have a man. <laughs> and most of the time, when these women do that, they don't realize how hard they're shooting themselves in the foot because it is your duty as a woman to get and to lock down the best man you can possibly lock down. That is a W for you. It is a W for a man to have the options to be able to attract a lot of pretty women. That is a W for a man. It is a W for a woman to lock down and to get the highest value dude she can possibly get to herself to get that ring. And as a man, you're going to be on point when you can attract a lot of beautiful types of women. That is a W for you. It doesn't mean you're actually going to get all of them, but you can. And if you can get one, most likely you can get all. That's just kind of how it works. If you can attract one smoking hot female, bro. You can most likely get all. Most likely. If not, a lot. It's just kind of how it works. Because <clears throat> you've become something that they want. They become something that you want. A pretty female that is probably pretty young. That is innocent. And all these other things. She's not masculine. She's not crazy. She's not a loud mouth. That's very unattractive in a woman. I'm sorry if you're a crazy loud mouth female watching this video, but let's be honest. You have no shot with a high quality dude. Same as a dude that did not improve himself, that did not put in the work. You're never going to get a high quality female that is super, super, super good looking and young and all these other things. It's just never going to happen. This is reality. This is the world. You must look at yourself in the mirror and become what it is that you want to attract. It is called manifesting. 
manifesting is very real. You can manifest shit by putting your mind in the right place, taking the right actions in life, and doing what you need to do. Get the job done. Less complaining, more action. There's no time to complain. There's only time to take action. That's when you're actually going to win. It's by taking action. By complaining because you can't have something that you really want. It's another day losing. It's another day losing. It's another day losing. It's another day losing. Because all you're doing is complaining, staying the same. If you complain, you stay the fucking same. Take all that energy and improve yourself. This is the world. This is as real as it gets. I'm not only here to make America great again, I'm here to make the whole, the whole damn world great again. If everybody lived by this, we would see a much better, beautiful world in society. But unfortunately, <clears throat> there's too much bullshit going around and going on today. Too many games being played, too much false and fake information going around, people believing they have to be something that is not going to benefit them at all in the long run. Be misindependent. Just be horrible. Hate men. All men are trash. And all this kind of craziness. It's going to lead to a piss poor life when you get older. As a woman. There's a lot of bad advice out there on the internet today for women. A lot of bad influences. Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallions, all these thoughts. Get the bag. Focus on the bag. That is what men do. That is not what you do. If you want to do that, fine. But you're going to see, when you get older, it is not the answer. When you're fucking 50 years old, that Gucci bag that you own is not going to matter. All the people around you are going to have children and grandkids at that point and, and all these, this family and these gatherings and social events and happiness and fulfillment and all this kind of stuff and you're going to have a fucking Gucci bag. Thinking you were going to win the whole time, not knowing you're actually setting yourself up for failure. You should have locked down the highest quality dude you could have because it's going to branch off and you're going to create a whole bunch of good things. Now you're stuck with a fucking Gucci bag. Thinking you're lit. There's like 20 year old females doing this kind of shit today, bro. Dressing that way, acting all crazy and shit like that, bro. You're in for a rude awakening. You better wake up quick. <laughs> you better wake up quick, little Miss Muffet, or you are screwed. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm telling you the truth. That shit ain't gonna matter. But hey, what am I to say, right? Who am I to say anything like that, right? Don't take my advice. No, don't do that. Pretty sure if you take my advice, you'll end up pretty damn good. If I'm being real. You don't. You want to take your advice. You want to be a non-agreeable female and do all this crazy shit. All men are trash even though they created this beautiful world that you live in today. And they could also create another beautiful world for you specifically if you were to just respect a man. And be respectful yourself. And as for the guys, stop chasing these females, bro. Stop stop giving them a bunch of validation and, and all this stuff and and putting them on a pedestal as if they're better than you. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Back in the day, females literally needed us. We were fighting tooth and nail against fucking saber two tigers. They were running and crawling to us to help them, to save them. Because they needed us. Now that we saved them, now that we built this beautiful world that we are in today, now that they're safe, now let's stab all these men in the back because they're all trash. Even though we drive these awesome vehicles today, we have all this luxury. We have all these perfect roads. We have power. We have water. We have running everything you could possibly fucking think. We have food on demand. We, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, we're independent now. Oh, yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah, these guys are trash. What? 
Those guys are the only reason why you're living today. The only reason. And it'll be too late by the time they come running back around the corner again for men to save them because men see what they're what what is happening. A bunch of ungrateful females. I'm not saying all women are like this, not even close. We're talking about these hardcore feminists. I just don't advise any of you ladies to take that route because it is retarded. It is stupid. It's like they want to prove so hard that they can be independent. And it's like, what are you even going to prove? Like, are you going to get a gold medal for this? Congratulations, pat, pat. What, what are you going to really achieve? Nothing. Men and women were born to be together. We were born to complement each other. But all the craziness that's going on today, bruh. Most of these modern day women, bimbo schmimbos. They're gaining so much power over these weak men. And these weak men are all falling for it. A lot of men are also waking up today, thank God. Thank God. But there's always going to be those simps out there that, that bend down, that obey, because they desperately want anything they can get so so hard. They desperately want it so hard, they're gonna they're gonna get whatever they can get. And she don't respect you, bruh. You're the type of guy you're gonna get used and you're gonna get tossed to the side. She's gonna laugh at you, bruh. <laughs> That's the world, so you have to be awake. You have to fully see what's going on. And do what's right. If you do what's right, you will have no issues. You'll have the world in the palm of your hand. And any man or woman that takes my advice in this video and starts to live a little bit differently now, I guarantee you, you're going to get a big W. I guarantee it. If you actually apply this and start doing things the right way, if you're against this video and what I said, I guarantee you, you are fucked. Like, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If not, you already are. 